Wash foiling, a technique commonly used by Kaizoku cards. I got four boxes of set six I'm opening in this video while I talk to you about why I think Sonic hairs are such great toothbrushes. You know, I, I give a dental tooth tip in a lot of my videos, but I thought for set six, I just do some videos where I just talk about why I think certain dentifrices are better than others. Bless them, this pack. So obviously, first and foremost, trying to get a Manga Zoro out of one of these things would be great. But a lot of people will think, oh, what's the point of getting a power toothbrush? I have this manual toothbrush that works fine. Rager, I like the art on these SRs. The SRs in the set look good. I'm very, I'm very excited to open English boxes. I also love to pull a God Pack. I didn't pull a God Pack in my case opening, so it would be cool to pull a God Pack in one of these box openings. But the reason why a powered brush is better than a manual brush is because with a powered brush, well, not, not all powered brushes are created equal also. Oral-B can go lay an egg. The Oral-B guy comes into my office every year trying to, trying to sell me his toothbrush, and I say, look, man, that rotational oscillation movement, I think this card's really good. Also, the art, look, art part looks great. I'm like, look, man, the rotational oscillation movement just isn't doing it. It's not going to cut it. It, it, the Sonic Air uh, uses sonic vibrations that vibrate the bristles a thousand times per second. So those bristles are moving like way faster than you can move your hand. They're putting in so much more work in the amount of time that you're using to brush your teeth. So the efficiency that you're getting is similar to like washing your clothes by hand versus washing them with a machine. Hoo hoo hoo! Yo, this Alt Art Zoro looks sick. Wow, that is some heat. Reminds me a lot of the HZ19 art um, by Kaizo Cards, because Kaizo Cards does make some really cool cards uh, that are out there. I don't know if you ever heard about them, but that's pretty sick. And I think that's probably going to be the only hit for this box. It seems like it's been with these um, with these boxes. It's just one alt art. I guess maybe potentially there could be a um, an alt art leader in here also. But the sonic vibrations are moving those bristles a thousand times per second. So since those bristles are moving a thousand times per second, that means that they're brushing your teeth a thousand times per second. And the amount of time that you're using it, right? Like how many people actually brush their teeth for two minutes? Not that many. You're supposed to, and it's great if you do. But the sonic hair toothbrushes have a timer on it that makes sure you know you're brushing them for two minutes. And the whole time you're brushing, those bristles are moving a thousand times per second. That means you're getting way more cleaning action in the given amount of time. I want to see the alt art for the shanks. I don't remember what it looks like. I know I saw it at one point and I felt like, I thought, ooh, that's hot. But I don't remember what it looks like. Moria, I heard Moria's kind of broken. My boys are out there helping me sort cards right now. And they were saying that uh, the Moria deck is kind of wild. You just have like infinite resources, which sounds pretty wild. But yeah, you're getting a thousand brushes per second, way more efficiency. The amount of time that you're investing into your brushing routine and what you're getting out of it, just way, 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 way more effective. So the Sonicare toothbrush is definitely the one to get. I recommend the Sonicare Protective Clean 4700. I think that's the best brush. Really the whole Protective Clean line I think is fantastic. And the reason why I think it's good is because it has a, well it has a built-in timer. The motor in it is really good, bless them. And um, your, uh, you have a little signal on there that tells you when to replace the toothbrush head because one of the important things that you got to remember is just because you're using a power toothbrush doesn't mean that toothbrush head is good forever. You still got to replace the brush heads. It's supposed to be every three months, I think. But what's nice about the protective clean is it has a timer that times when you've used it for three months twice a day, it's going to tell you, hey, it's time for a new toothbrush head. It'll blink. And also, Sonicares also have um, a warranty on them where if you break it, there's a serial number on every Sonicare. You can call Sonicare, or you can call Philips and tell them, hey, my Sonicare broke, the motor broke or whatever, and we'll just send you a new brush. I think that's super value. And uh, I think the, the, the technology is really good. The brushes are really good. The Protective Clean comes in a couple different colors, so you can get so excited about picking up your toothbrush and using it, because you gotta use it. If you don't use it, what's the point? Look at this Schmohawk. Looks pretty good. I, I am excited to place that because the, the Yamato leader just looks so cool. That might be the first deck that gets me to stop playing Starter Luffy because Red Luffy is actually the only deck that I play it and know how to play. But, um, oh, the Vinsmoke Squad is coming in hot. Look at that texture in the background, the fire and flames. I do like the SR art, but that's very cool. 
very cool. I just want to pull different alt arts. If you saw the case opening video, I pulled a lot of really sick alt arts. So I'm pretty hyped about the alt arts I've seen so far already. And I do think the art in this set is very, very pretty. But there's all these great benefits to using the Sonicare. And it's a pretty low investment. You know, I, I sell my brushes for 70 bucks. They usually retail for around $120. You can uh, find one online. I think Costco has a two pack that you can buy. Uh, you get two brushes. So if you have a betrothed or you have a family member that you want to get a brush for, you can get those brushes and they just, you get so much value out of it. You know, the, the difference I see in my patient's hygiene just from using a Sonicare for even, you know, from one visit to the next visit, it's, it's an astronomical difference, right? Like we all use washing machines and, and a lot of people use dishwashers. Why would you not do that for your teeth? Your teeth are such important objects that you use every day so much in so many ways. That's two boxes in, there's two more boxes while I continue to talk about Sonicare toothbrushes. But you use your teeth so frequently and you want your teeth to last your whole life, right? Like eating should be something that remains easy the whole time. There shouldn't be a time that comes where eating becomes more difficult. So I think um, we definitely got to bless them pack here. And and really consider like the the time you're investing, what you're putting into them, what you're getting out of it, it's, it's really well worth it. So I'm gonna continue advocating for Sonicare toothbrushes. And another thing that's really important is that you're using the right technique. Now, a manual toothbrush, you just kind of make little circles, right? The best technique is actually something called the modified bass technique, where you make these tiny little circles and you move around and brush out towards the gum line. But like, who's actually doing that, right? No one's, no one's doing that. I, I can't even do it well. I've challenged myself. It's extremely difficult to do. So I don't really think anybody's using the, the modified bass technique prop. Ooh, secret rare. And I think that that's it. That should be it for the hit for this box. It's kind of lame. I think, wait, I think in the case I did open one box that had a secret rare and an altar. I pulled a Zorro and a Robin in one box. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's impossible. But I also think it's likely that we're not going to see another hit in this box. Which is reasonable. We got two alt arts in the first two boxes. So... Just seeing secret rares out of two boxes is, you know, within normal limits, I'd say, definitely. But you got to use the right technique if you're using a powered brush. And the right technique is applying pretty gentle pressure and letting the bristles do the work. Because if you're pressing the bristles into the teeth too much, it actually like, deadens the effect of the brush, right? The brush is cleaning the teeth by moving the bristles really fast from the vibration. So you want to have the right amount of pressure against your teeth so the vibrations are actually doing the work to clean them effectively. And um, if you do use the brush improperly, like if you push too hard, if you're moving your hand around too much while you're brushing, it actually weakens the bristles, it, it, it splays them out, and then the bristles don't work quite as well. So you want to you want to make sure that you're using it properly, you're giving yourself enough time to brush. And honestly, like in the morning, if, you, if you're a person that doesn't brush your teeth all in the morning, I, I really think it is worth brushing your teeth in the morning. And with a powered brush, at least getting in there for like 20 seconds, just moving around and getting that initial bacterial layer off your teeth, it does it's it's so worth it, and it, and it gives you so much more um, protection for your teeth over time versus not doing that at all or using a manual brush for the same amount of time. So. I really think it's a worthwhile investment. I think it's worth treating yourself to that. Think about how much money you spend on meals. You know, we all spend so much money on food just to eat. And what's the point of spending all that money if you can't enjoy eating? It becomes difficult to eat. Bless it. Um, so do yourself a favor for this holiday season or your birthday or absolutely no reason at all. Just go ahead and buy yourself a power brush. The amount of money, time, and frustration you're going to save yourself in your life by making that switch is significant. And I'm a doctor, so you can trust me. I'm also a shrimp doctor. Should we do a double trip em, trip em, or triple trip em? How about a triple trip em? I have this new, oh, a quad trip em? Whoa, I got four packs here. Can, is a quad trip em even physically possible? It takes a little more time, but, oh, wow. Uh, not, not as clean as I would have liked it to be. But that's how you strip them four packs at once. I wonder what the limit is. I should see how many packs. And I, I can't really take credit for that as a true quad strip them. A true quad strip them, I would have just ripped the packs off so easily. And I'm not proud of that. Not really proud of that. No, no alt arts in here. Nothing looks that shiny. Eh, happens. It happens to the best of us. 
But that's what you, if you don't take chances when you shrip them, you're never going to know how far you can push the limits of your shrip them technique. I would love to see a Magazora. I also heard that there was, ooh, there's the Mirage Foiling Momo. Look at that. Mirage Foiling, a technique commonly used by Kaizoku cards. And if you haven't heard about Kaizoku cards, they are my cards. I make them. You can check them out here. I made this uh, Wanted Poster Luffy. This is going to be releasing, or I may have released by now. This is the purple Luffy. See, the, uh, the text is here for the game card and the life and color and power and all that stuff. So you can check that out at kaizokucards.com. That may or may not be released yet. I don't know. I can, can tell you exactly. But I think there could also still be an alt art leader. I do think the alt art leaders come with one alt art box. So when you hit an alt art in set six, you can't just throw in the towel already. You got to keep trying and believe in yourself and believe there's a chance that you might still pull some more heat. I think there also could be a secret rare because there was a box with one alt art and a secret rare as I mentioned. I just want to shrip them. Anyway, go ahead, do yourself a favor, get yourself a Sonicare, take better care of your teeth because it really just takes a small investment of your time daily and, and really it's like, you know, who gets off the toilet and doesn't wipe their butt? You know, maybe you do, but that's gross. You should totally wipe your butt. And the reason why you wipe your butt is because like you feel poop in your butt after you poop. And after a while, if you get used to brushing your teeth, if you're a person that doesn't brush your teeth much, you can start to feel the plaque building up on your teeth, just like you would feel the poop between your legs if you didn't wipe your butt. So it's worth gaining that proprioception and learning how to clean your teeth regularly, take better care of them, because in the long run, they're going to take care of you. So definitely take care of them. And we got two packs left. Is there going to be an alt art in here? The only way to find out is to strip them, to bless them, and the end. No, nothing. But a shiny card at flat. Anyway, so that was our uh, four box opening. We got a Mirage Foiling Momo, a Zoro Secret, the Vinsmoke, King Vinsmoke, what the heck is his name? Whatever. And the Altar Zoro. I needed an Altar Zoro. Oh, look at those flames. The King of Heck. What a heckin' king. Very cool. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see y'all in the next. I wanted to take this great opportunity to bring uh, one Wi-Fi update to your personal internet system. A lot of people have been asking questions about how good the signal is and if, as you can see, finally, the signal is fully connected. There's all five bars of G plus LTE coming in to everybody's phones at the same time. And while a lot of people have been really concerned about the status of Wi-Fi, now we know exactly why. And it's really good. So I hope you take this opportunity to stay connected. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> it's over. It's